This is probably the most beautiful mausoleum ever built, one of the seven wonders of the world. Taj Mahal is not only an architectural masterpiece, but also an eternal symbol of love. This is the promise that King Shah Jahan made to his wife, Queen Muntaz Mahal, who passed away after giving birth to her 14th child. Her last wish to be buried in the most beautiful mausoleum in the world. That's why the Taj Mahal was built, where she can rest eternally, and also where Emperor Shah Jahan's eternal love for her is kept. In terms of scale, the Taj Mahal is not the largest mausoleum in the world. This title belongs to the Qin Shai Huang tomb in China with a scale of 56 square kilometers. However, in terms of sophistication and perfection, the Taj Mahal can be considered one of the greatest mausoleums ever created by humans. To complete this masterpiece, more than 20,000 workers from all over the Agra Empire and other countries were mobilized, and it took more than 20 years to complete. Although many people refer to it as an architectural masterpiece made of marble blocks, few people know that the foundation of the new building is the pinnacle of construction techniques of Mughal dynasty engineers. Helping the Taj Mahal still stand firmly on the banks of the Yamuna River after nearly four centuries, despite the adverse geological factors of this place. Now let's explore what techniques engineers used to create a solid foundation for the Taj Mahal. When nearly 400 years ago, concrete mix had not yet been invented, the geological foundation is inherently unstable, prone to subsidence, and unsuitable for construction, but engineers have solved this problem by applying an unprecedented technique. They do not build the foundation on hard rock like conventional constructions, but use a special foundation system with wood as the main element. That's right, the teak pile foundation is buried deep into the ground. Specifically, engineers dig down to the hard soil layer, ensuring that the foundation can withstand the huge weight of the building. After digging deeply, they discovered that the ground was still not stable enough to withstand heavy loads for a long time. Therefore, a special reinforcement solution was applied. Large cylindrical wells are built of bricks, then teak wood piles are placed in the middle of each well. This type of wood has special properties. When exposed to water, it does not rot but becomes stronger. Since the Taj Mahal is located near the Yamuna River, natural moisture from the river water helps preserve these wooden piles for hundreds of years. After placing the piles, a special adhesive mixture is poured into the well to cover the wooden piles and further reinforce the foundation. This mixture is made up of a number of ingredients such as slaked lime, babul resin, finely ground brick powder. These ingredients combined together create a super durable adhesive mixture that is both flexible, helps absorb and release moisture without damaging the structure, and has high elasticity, helping the project withstand light vibrations and avoid cracking due to temperature changes. After creating a stable foundation, a giant pedestal made from burnt bricks and red sandstone was built to raise the entire mausoleum to a higher plane, while also helping to evenly distribute the tomb's weight across the entire foundation below. Created from the intersection of many different design styles, Persian chief architect Yusted Ahmad Lahori skillfully combined all the elements together to create a work of a lifetime. From the mausoleum's dome inspired by Persian cultural design to Indian architecture, expressed in lotus motifs and floral motifs carved in stone. Although the main material that makes up the Taj Mahal is fired bricks, but to meet the project's huge needs, the king ordered bricks to be produced directly at the construction site. This is to meet progress requirements, as well as significantly reduce costs compared to using 100% marble. What makes the Taj Mahal special is its ability to change color according to the time of day. Specifically, at dawn, the Taj Mahal is pale pink or soft orange. At noon, when strong sunlight shines directly, the Taj Mahal is pure white, reflecting dazzling light. On the night of the full moon, the Taj Mahal emits a pale blue color, almost turning silver, making it look mysterious and poetic. 
On the night of the full moon, the Taj Mahal emits a pale blue color, almost turning silver, making it look mysterious and poetic. The secret of this color change comes from the white marble layer covering the outside of the tomb because only white marble from the Makrana mining area has the best ability to reflect light. Most of these raw materials are mined in Makrana, then used elephants and bullet carts to transport. Contributing to the mysterious beauty of the tomb, it is impossible not to mention the precious stones inlaid on the marble slabs. Some precious stones such as jade, lapis lazuli, amber were imported from Persia, China and Afghanistan via the Silk Road. To inlay the stones onto the surface, Persian and Indian artisans used a technique called Petra Dura similar to the way stone mosaics are made in Europe. The gems are cut into small pieces, polished and grafted onto the previously engraved marble surface according to elaborate patterns. The adhesive mixture is applied to the groove in a thin layer, then the gemstone is placed in place and pressed firmly to secure. Once dry, the surface is polished so that the stone blends seamlessly with the marble base. Thanks to that, the decorative patterns on the Taj Mahal are still shiny and unpeopled after more than 370 years. With all the most precious materials used for his enthusiasm, the king spent about 30 to million rupees to create the final gift to his beloved wife. If the figure of 30 to million rupees at that time was converted to the value of the current dollar, it would be equivalent to about $1.5 billion. Today, Taj Mahal is still one of the famous tourist destinations for tourists not only domestically but also from other countries. It not only attracts tourists because of its splendid architecture but also because of its eternal love story, uniquely historical and cultural values. Whether you come here to learn history, explore architecture, or simply take souvenir photos, the Taj Mahal always brings an unforgettable experience worthy of its title as one of the seven greatest wonders of the world.